Hey guys, this is Amanda, Mood Disordered Mind, and for today's video, I want to talk about, um, well, in my support group, um, the first principle of support is, says, we will see the individual first, not the illness, and to me, that means that I am who I am, you know, there are many things that make up my personality and my mental illnesses are just something that happened to be. They're not who I am. And I want to talk about this because the other day um, I have this bike that I bought for $30 last summer and <laughs> it's pretty much a piece of crap. And one of the brakes didn't work already. It was just the other brake and it doesn't ride that well, you know, but it was for 30 bucks. And it got left out um, in some of the, the weather that we've had. So it's become, you know, I, I can't even move the brakes now. And one of the tires is flat and, you know, I basically need a new bike. And I made the comment in front of my mom. I said, well, what did we expect for 30 bucks? And her response to that was, have you taken your morning meds today? So she, it's like everything I do or feel and this isn't the first time that she's asked me if I've taken my meds. You know, if I get upset about something, she'll ask me if I've taken my meds. You know, and it got me to realize that she thinks that everything I do, say, feel, or think is because of a mental illness. And that's not true. Sometimes I just feel the way that I feel because I have feelings. I'm a human being. And I know that some of you have expressed this problem before. And I'm not trying to, you know, make my mother seem like a bad person or anything. That's not what I'm trying to do. But it just makes me realize how uneducated she is and how, and it, and it lets me see her perceptions of it. You know, because we had a conversation a while back about, you know, because she has depression and part of that depression is because she has neurological problems but it's not 100% because of the neurological problems and sometimes she goes through her mood episodes too. Huh. And I mentioned that, you know, maybe she needs to go see a, a counselor, you know, just to talk about the depression, what's going on with that. And she gets upset with me because she's she's like, I, I don't have a problem, blah, 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 you know. I'm not going to go see a counselor. I've seen counselors in the past. I don't need to see one now. This depression is only because of my neurological problems. You know, so she gets upset <laughs> if I if I mention, you know, maybe she might want to talk to somebody. But she can outright say, make me feel like everything I do is related to bipolar and that is not true it's just not you know like we are allowed to feel feelings we are allowed to have our opinions but it doesn't mean it's because we are mentally ill and that's the only reason I'm not really angry I'm just I'm just disappointed that all she sees when she looks at me is a mental illness. I mean, that's how I feel. Whether that's true or not, that's how I feel with the way that she's been treating me lately when it comes to that, you know? I mean, almost at least twice a week she's been asking me, have I taken my pills if I make a comment or I get angry or I have a mood issue, you know? I don't know. I... I just want to know if, if you guys have had these experiences with family, friends, coworkers, whatever, you know, and how did you deal with it? I mean, I'm thinking of, you know, just talking to her and 
trying to get her to realize that I am more than just my mental illness or illnesses in my case. I can have thoughts and feelings and I can act irrational without it being due to that. You know? I don't know. I mean, I should probably just talk to her because I'm one of those people, I like to be face-to-face with people, you know? And I want her to know that she has to see me, not my illness. My illness is there. Illnesses are there. But they're not who I am. They don't define me. You know? And not every little thing that I do is related to that. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to vent about that. So if you've had similar experiences, I'd really appreciate if you'd message me or make a video response or, you know, leave a comment. You know, because I guess I just need some support right now. So I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well considering, you know, I had surgery three weeks ago today and I'm doing really well. You know, I'm healing well. The only thing that happened was last night we were at KFC and I went to get up off the table because my son wanted to sit at one of those high tables and I misstepped and I fell onto my right side and I'm sort of sore in the back. You know, I'm not sure if I should call my doctor about it. Or if I should just wait until my appointment on the 20th. I'll probably call them and let them know that that happened. So they can put it in my chart so they know what's going on. Because I think that's the mature thing to do. The responsible thing to do. But anyway, I hope you all are doing well. And I will see you next time. So take care everybody. Bye.